Welcome everyone. This video is to instruct how to disassemble the DAISY 1903 replica drill rifle. The tools you will need to disassemble your drill rifle are two hammers, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a pin, a punch, and a set of allen wrenches. An optional tool to disassemble your drill rifle is a power drill with the Phillips head drill bit. First step to disassembling your rifle is to remove your sling. Remove your sling from the rifle by first loosening the buckle on the sling and removing the sling from the buckle and the upper sling swivel. Next, you will feed the sling through the sling clip at the rear of the rifle. Now remove the sling clip from the rifle by sliding it off the lower sling swivel. Stow your sling buckle and your lower sling clip in a safe place. Keep in mind, you can clean your sling by using light soap and a water solution, and scrub as needed. Be sure to rinse with water once clean. The first step to disassembling your rifle is to remove the front and rear assembly. The tools needed for this task are a punch, a pin, an allen wrench, and a hammer. First we'll disassemble the front assembly. First grab your pin and place it on the original pin holding the front sight and hammer it out. Once the pin's out, use the hammer to hammer the front side off. Next, we'll remove the rear sight. In order to remove the rear sight, you will need your Allen wrench. Once the rear sight is removed, proceed back to the front band. You'll need your punch and a hammer. Place the punch on top of the rear band where the roll pin's at and hammer. Once the roll pin's out, slide the front band off. That completes the disassembly of the rear and front. The next step to disassembling your drill rifle is to remove the handguard. In order to remove the handguard, you'll have to remove the stacking swivel and the upper sling swivel. To complete this task, you'll need an Allen wrench. First begin by using the Allen wrench to remove the stacking swivel. Once completed, remove the stacking swivel by sliding it off. Now that the stacking swivel is removed, go ahead and remove the upper sling swivel.
Once you have it completely unscrewed, go ahead and slide the sling swivel off. Now the upper hand guard should be easily removed. That completes removing the upper hand guard. Next to disassembling your drill rifle, we will be removing the receiver and the trigger housing. In order to complete this task, you'll need an Allen wrench. First, you will use the Allen wrench to remove the bolts from the trigger housing. Now that the bolts are removed, you can separate the trigger housing from the stock and the receiver from the stock. This completes disassembling the receiver and the trigger housing from the stock. Next, to disassemble your drill rifle, you will disassemble your stock. In order to complete this task, you need a Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. An optional tool to complete this task will be a power drill with the Phillips head drill bit. First, we'll remove the stock swivel. So use your Phillips head drill bit to complete this. Now that the band and the stock swivel are off, you will have to remove the plate. In order to remove the plate, you'll use the flat head screwdriver. Once this is completed, you can move on to the butt plate. To remove the butt plate, once again, you'll need the Phillips head drill bit. This completes the disassembly of the stock. The final step to disassembling your drill rifle is to disassemble the receiver. In order to complete this task, you'll need two hammers, a punch, and an Allen wrench. The first step to disassembling the receiver is to remove the receiver handguard ring. In order to complete this test, you'll need two hammers. First, place the claw of the hammer around the roll pin. Use the second hammer to tap in lightly and rip the roll pin out of the receiver. Once the roll pin is removed, you may remove the ring from the receiver. Next, we will remove the barrel from the receiver. Use the punch and a hammer to complete this. You may need a second set of hands to complete this task. Once the pin is removed, you should be able to slide out the barrel from the receiver.
Next, use your Allen wrench. With the Allen wrench, you'll use it to remove the bolt. Make sure when removing the bolt that you have it open and not closed. Once the bolt stop screw is removed, slide the bolt out. Remember, there's still a spring inside the receiver. To get the receiver, you can either use a screwdriver or the punch that you used before. That completes the disassembly of the Daisy 1903 replica drill rifle. Thank you for your time.